All right, we're doing drums. All right, so I want to show you how to hold the stick. You hold out your hand, and you just take one stick to start with, and rest it diagonally across your palm. See how it comes out here on kind of the side of my hand? And up here, it crosses my index finger, sort of between that first and second uh, knuckle, all right? This way here, I can kind of bring my index finger around it, around the stick, and put my thumb up on the side, all right? So the, the grip of the stick is mainly between the thumb, index finger, and middle finger. Uh, the other fingers are used for control, but don't really grab the stick because we need to be able to allow it to pivot. So um, that's basically how you hold the stick. Now what happens is you turn your hand over, and that's uh, your hand position. All right? Now I know I'm a little cramped here, but I just want to show you the idea behind when you're playing. You want to just throw the stick down and let it bounce. And if you're holding the stick with um, thumb, index, finger, middle, and not grasping it like this, the stick should just bounce right up off of the pad. And you can help it a little bit. Okay. Now, when you use your other hand, we do a matched grip. So exact same thing, just mirror image. All right. Um, I like to hold the sticks uh, about a third of the way from the end, maybe a little bit further. It depends upon your individual preference. Uh, if you have Vic Firth sticks, there's a handy dandy American flag, which is right about the right spot. Uh, so I always tell students, if you got that, you can put your thumb on the American flag and it sort of helps with the finger placement. Um, but roughly, again, one third of the way up the stick, okay? So that you have both sticks in the same mirror image position. They call that matched grip. Now, uh, if your sticks were to cross, they would make a capital X, like an uppercase X. Not that they do. Uh, you want to have them about that far apart from each other so that when you're playing, they're not going to crash into each other. I'm not really in a good position right here for my left hand. <laughs> All right, so that's the idea. And counting, as we've talked about in the lessons, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And, um, notice that the idea is to use your wrist and not your entire arm. Okay, but just the wrist to kind of use the, to play the stick. All right. I really should be standing up for this. Okay, I just couldn't figure out how to make the camera work. Um, the, the pad should be at waist height, so please don't play sitting in a chair at home like I'm doing. Uh, don't do as I do, do as I say. Okay, uh, but that's the basic idea. Okay, hope you find that helpful.